Okay, a few months ago, Bonnie did her 50 things about her video and she told me, Joel, start compiling a list of 50 things about you and some memories and things like that. So I finally completed it and I wanted to present to you some of our high school experiences and 50 things about me. When I started filming this, I was actually up in the bedroom just like Bonnie was in hers and I was starting to make the bed and I thought this is, this is, there's too much girl here. I can't do it. I got to go to the manliest room I know and my shed's disgusting. So I came down to the food storage in front of my camping gear, food storage. It's freezing in here. I had to go get this shirt on so I'd actually be warm. But anyway, 50 things about me. First thing, I hate being barefoot. I absolutely hate being barefoot. You wouldn't think this would be a sensitive subject in our family, but it bothers Bonnie that I don't like being barefoot. So I'm even wearing my slippers as we speak now. I grew up with five boys in my family and my dad grew up with only five boys in his family. No sisters for either of us. I started running in the eighth grade for exercise, but I started because a girl I knew was running in the mornings, so she said on Insta chat back in the day. Anyway, I never did see her and I just kept with it. I just enjoyed it so much. And so I ran for years and years after and I've always been a pretty good runner. I hate the New York Yankees. I am an Eagle Scout and there are five Eagle Scouts in my family. I've never been to a homecoming dance. It turns out every year for the last day of summer, me and my buddies would do something a little too ridiculous. I would get grounded until homecoming was over. So it's my own fault. I've never been to a homecoming. When I was in high school, I lettered in wrestling and I only started wrestling because I got cut from the baseball team the year before and I decided let's do a new sport and my dad was a good wrestler, so I started wrestling. I did okay. My favorite color is mint green, like 1940s machinery style green and it's because it's the color of my grandma Kerrigan's house. When I was in high school, I used to sleep out on my trampoline alone, uh, mostly because it was just nice, it was cool weather and it was fun waking up to the sun in the morning, but there was a pretty good chance a girl would text me that night and we'd talk and I snuck out a lot off of that trampoline. Sorry mom and dad, you're hearing this, but I got caught one night because a girl stopped by my house and knocked on my door at like nine o'clock at night. I don't know who does that. My dad came out to get me and I was gone, so got caught. Thanks, Jamie. When I was a little boy, every year for Halloween, I would dress up as an army guy or a hunter in hopes that I would get some kind of a toy gun or I would get a dress up in camouflage or something. One of my favorite memories of all time is going to Flaming Gorge with all of my young men group from church and we were cliff diving off of 100 foot cliffs and funny story about that, I wasn't gonna do it, I was actually gonna cower down, but all of a sudden this young women's group comes by and they're like, well if you're not gonna go, we're gonna go and I just ran and jumped off been doing that jump ever since. I love Flaming Gorge. I used to be a one-upper. Come by my table and say hi. The whole family's here, all three of us. My family's here too, so. And there's six of us, so like double bigger than yours. I've never met either of my grandfathers. I've always been fascinated with machinery, the way something works, the way something is put together, um, how your car runs, all that kind of stuff. It just fascinates the heck out of me. And because of it, Modern Marvels from Discovery Channel was like one of my favorite shows ever growing up. And I still am in a trance whenever I watch it. I tricked Bonnie into our very first kiss. That sounds a little creepy. Man, like, am I a creep? I don't, I don't think so. Anyway, we were out in the hall for some reason at the same time in high school, and she was walking by and she did one of those, like, swoop by your face, almost kiss you but not. And I was like, light bulb, you wouldn't dare do that. And she's all, oh yeah, comes back, plants one on me, we go back into gym, can't smack the smile on my face, and never been able to smack it off since. I prefer cakes and pastries, not candy. I used to hate frosting. If I could go back in time to any generation, it would be 1940s with the greatest generation. One of my favorite classes in high school was Mr. Hines' class. I didn't have any friends in that class, which meant I was forced to pay attention, and I really enjoyed it. I started reading books like The Old Man and the Sea and kind of fell in love with it. I prefer brunettes to blondes any day. My favorite book is The Millionaire Next Door. My first set of stitches ever came from a butcher's knife. These front four teeth are fake. One of my brothers actually threw a record at me when I was a little boy and it hit this tooth and broke it clean in half. And ever since that, I've had trouble with all the rest of these teeth, so we just got them all replaced. My elementary crush was Hillary Thornock. When I was in elementary, I stole a dollar bill off my mom's dresser thinking, I'll go to school and buy me like a pencil or something. I don't know, whatever I wanted. Come to find out, that was a hundred dollar bill that I had stolen off my mom's dresser. And she was very, very mad. And when I showed it to one of my friends, I was like, I'll buy the whole store. I got in a lot of trouble for that. I never understood the game crypto. I guess I wasn't smart enough. I used to hate soda. When I was a little boy, it just tasted terrible to me and it burned. I drink Mountain Dew from a can and Dr. Pepper from the fountain. My first ever Mountain Dew that I drank was a Star Wars edition. I didn't want to drink it, but I was mowing a lawn, trying to earn some money, probably to pay for something for Bonnie. It was hot. That was the only thing the guy gave me to drink. And 
I've been loving it ever since. I prefer salt over pepper. I hate white cake. Ice cream, really weird. My brother Jeff baptized me. I embarrass really easy. I love jeans. I could live in jeans. I could sleep in jeans. I'm relaxed in jeans. Actually caused some confrontation in our marriage because Bonnie hates jeans and she gets mad when I'm still wearing them. That sounds funny too. And she's thinking, you're not relaxing if you're wearing jeans. It just is not comprehensible to her. I'm so relaxed in jeans and I love them. The only time I've ever been knocked out was from swinging upside down in my hammock. Thanks, Jamie. I wet the bed for a long time. I used to stay up at night and listen to Cable 93's Love Line, hoping that somebody at night would call in and dedicate a song to me. I don't know why I never called in and dedicated a song to Bonnie, because she said she listened to it too. Not the smartest, not the smartest move. The moment I met Bonnie, I knew she would be in my life forever. One time in high school, Ellie walked in on me and Bonnie kissing. One of my favorite high school memories is walking Bonnie home through Sandridge Park. When I was in junior high, my best friend was going out with Bonnie and I didn't like it at all. I really had a thing for Bonnie. And so one night at his house, I was like, I think you and Bonnie should end it. I think you should just call her and break up with her right now. And I know it was actually hard for him and Bonnie, but I honestly, like the demise of their relationship meant the beginning of mine. Sorry, Mike. An embarrassing story. I don't even know if Bonnie will remember this. We both arrived at high school at the same time. We got out of our cars and we're walking in. And I was like, hi, sweetheart, how are you? And she goes, oh, honey, you've got toothpaste on the side of your mouth. And I had toothpaste still on the side of my mouth. At least I brushed my teeth, right? That's all that matters. After I started running for that girl, I would kind of make my jog past other girlfriends' houses. And I ended up getting it up to 10 miles. That was a long run, but I was always scared to run past Bonnie's house. Her dad scared me a little bit. I always thought to myself, if Bonnie doesn't wait for me while I'm on my mission, Julie and Ellie are good candidates too. I can play the drums. One time in high school, I told Bonnie she could take my truck and slough class. And that same day, my mom needed to get something out of that truck. And lo and behold, when she pulled into the parking lot, Bonnie was pulling out of the parking lot and it created an awkward mother-in-law confrontation. Both my parents and Bonnie's parents told us we wouldn't marry each other. That was in junior high though. That was in junior high. Bonnie and I were never like officially a thing in junior high, but I always wanted it to happen. And then in high school, she started liking the seniors, lame When her stupid senior finally graduated and left, I thought to myself, I don't think Bonnie really cares anymore. We're still good friends, but I just don't know if it's gonna be romantic at all. Anyway, one day we sloughed class together and went for a drive and we just talked. We just talked about what each other had done for the past year because we didn't talk as much before that. After our drive, we walked back into class and I remember thinking I just rekindled the greatest relationship I've ever had in my life and I was so excited. And I remember going to church that Sunday telling my teacher, I'm going to marry Bonnie Griffiths. What's up? There you go, there's 50 facts about me. Now you know me a little bit better and hopefully me and Bonnie's high school relationship a little bit better. It's one of the most tender times of our lives and I don't think we can look on it, either of us, without getting a little bit maybe choked up or a little bit excited. There's always a smile. It's just, it's neat that Bonnie and I have their relationship and I'm excited. I've known Bonnie 19 years now. Thanks so much for watching guys. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Give it a thumbs up for Bonnie because it's Bonnie. We'll see you guys. Thumbs up for my man cave. See, I like slippers, I like slippers. I could probably eat something in here. There's pistachios and jerky. All right, I'm gonna start a fire and go fishing. Bonnie kissed a lot of my friends. Oh, that's not a fact about me, I'm sorry, I'm sorry.